All right, man, everybody, welcome back. I'm Rob, this is Carl. We're here representing MyCom Labs, and today we're at East Bay Recorders with the legendary Michael Rosen. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna put this under a frequency response test, and we're gonna see how it stacks up from you know 20 to 20, see what the quality coming out of here in a scientific measurement way, and you can decide whether that's good or bad. We will be comparing it to uh, the previous one. So we did the Alexa subwoofer system. Google Home Max. Google Home Max um, and the Apple HomePod. So we'll see how, uh, how this guy stacks up. Comparing to your, to your phone and stuff was seamless. It was just getting hooked up. Bluetooth to the phone, it was, it was great. Hooked up to the Wi-Fi really, really simply. I hooked it up to my Alexa. Uh, Alexa, what's it, Plus, I think it's called, or whatever that one with a little built-in station. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was pretty decent. You had to download a skill, but then it, it, it worked really, really well. The, the one like weird, tricky thing was you select the room it's in and it, it named it that. And so that was a little weird to try to figure out how to edit it. Like it ended up being called family room because I had it in my family room when I was first doing the test. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, okay, I don't want to say Alexa play Dave Matthews in the family room. I wanted to like say Alexa play Dave Matthews on the Sonos because that's what I was trying to do. And it was really hard to edit the name. It was kind of confusing where that happens. And there was an edit button. It was grayed out. It was a little, little wonky, but um, just the pairing process, pretty good and pretty seamless in comparison to one of the other ones we have is you can watch the video and see which I nearly uh, killed somebody. And um, guiltless plug for my future sponsor, Pete's, Pete's Coffee. So Pete's, if you ever watch these, um, we want sponsorships, free coffee, something like that. I buy this every day and brew it at home. I deserve this. And these power, these podcasts are powered by Pete's. Carl, what are we looking for? Burger King? Yeah. Carl, it's Burger King? Oh, here it is right here. Oh my God, it's not ready. Well, actually, I had a, a funny story. Um, the lady that in the drive-thru gave me this and she didn't put the cap on, so the thing exploded inside my car. Oh my god, it's a lawsuit. Yeah. We're gonna go in the other room and test the frequency response and look at what we get on the uh, on the setup, and we'll check it out. All right, we're here in the studio. East Bay Recorders, Michael Rosen's got the frequency response up in front of us. So Michael, what were you saying? You were gonna give us a dissertation so, a minute ago? So this one, the, the Sonos, 35 to 45, 50. And they're a little bit brighter in the mid-range, two to, 5k is a little bit more hyped and the roll off isn't as steep as some it's about 18 19 but it doesn't drop off a cliff it just drops off a small mountain <laughs> cool so so this is what we got with the sonus as you can see this is the stack up so again what we'll do is we'll come back in a while and what we'll do is we'll shoot like a little shootout we'll put them all together and we'll just let everybody kind of compare uh, what each one does and we're trying to compare them basically you know, apples to apples. So the, the similar ones, we're not comparing a $79 one to a $500 one. We're gonna try and keep them all in the same price range. So uh, again, thanks to East Bay Recorders and uh, Michael Rosen. We'll be back. <laughs>